unbelievable. Somebody was stupid enough to send a threat to Jay Prince for Pusha T? Whoever that person is, wow, that is some bull. Jay Prince is on his promotional tour for his uh, book called The Art and Science of Respect. And during his press tour, they're asking him about, of course, the Pusha T and Drake situation. He didn't say, I'm coming up there to talk about Drake and Pusha T. Okay? They're asking him why he's on his scheduled book run. Now, he also came in there and did the interview and actually showed the text to show that he wasn't lying. Because lying is not something Mr. Prince does. After he came in, we all know he called, told Drake not to respond back to Pusher and told the whole story. We can't get in the mud with pigs and all that stuff. Still, the drama wasn't over. When Jay Prince stopped by the, uh, to the billboard office to do the interview he did, he showed the anonymous text he received early in the day that told him to keep Pusher T name out your mouth. And included the addresses of significant people to Jay Prince. And Jay Prince said, I understand where it could go, and I'm trying to circumvent it. Now, the decision to keep Drake out of beef, you know, is, is one of his main things he was talking about. But, um, When he, you know, he has a reputation You know, so when that reputation comes, people crossing the line. And I don't know who this guy is that sent this to Mr. Prince. But the fact that they had the balls to threaten Jay Prince, that that in itself is just the craziest thing I've ever heard. I mean, seriously, do you even know what you're doing? And like he said, I just got a threat. Somebody saying, stay away from Pusha T. I don't know where it came from, but he see the dresses of people he know. Keep his name out your mouth or else. Press scroll through his phone and shows a text message from a number that isn't saved as a contact. And that's what he said. These are real life situations we got to deal with. I understand where it could go, and I'm trying to circumvent it, but at the same token, I'm really the wrong person to be trying to go there with. I understand it, and I'm a, I'm in a position to try to put an end to it, but the devil don't even like peace, believe it or not. <laughs> you see you going through peace, and he don't want it. That means nothing, but this decision... We're standing by it, and we're going to move along and do good business. So, that's the way he's trying to get this thing done. But he said, this is the first one, but this is definitely on my phone. People talk loosely, but a pair of, loose, a pair of lips will say anything. Your people that surround you are going to come together. Somebody won't strike. Somebody want to get brownie points. When you don't put these kind of fires to bed, they turn into blazes or explosions. And there it is. That's real life.
So they think it's okay to play with Mr. Prince. Okay. This is these are the type of things that I talked about a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? A very long time ago. I told you all about playing with certain people. This is not a kind of guy you want to play with. Believe me. The guys that's doing this, they're making a grave mistake because Mr. Prince is not somebody you play with in this type of manner. Okay? But they'll find out. Unfortunately, somebody's going to find out the wrong way. And they're going to wish they never sent anything like that to his phone. And I mean, to do that to another man like that, it, uh, to a very serious man, that's, that's you, you're asking to, hey, I ain't even going to talk about it. I'm out.